Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Metal Guy Reacts, back to bring you another reaction video. Today, I'm really excited, I'm gonna be reacting to another Tom McDonald song. This is Fake Woke. Now this just came out today, so it's super hot, it's blowing up my feed, and uh, just excited to check out his stuff. I mean, I'm always, always excited to see his stuff, because man, I mean, he's one of those guys that, as I review on this channel, he just continues to put out really good stuff and really amazing just thought-provoking lyrics and and just really cool rhyming schemes and cadences and man he just blends stuff really really well so i'm excited to just jump right into this and uh let me know if there's more of his stuff you want me to react to i'll include a link at the very end of the video uh to my playlist of his of everything i listened to so far and let's jump into tom mcdonald doing fake woke <laughs> I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial And Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard But if I mention race in a song I'm scared I'll get killed for it It's backwards, it's getting exponential Wait, hold on, there was a few things going on in there And I had to turn it up because it's so good so far Let me just back it up to the beginning one more time I think he called out Cardi B and Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard But if I mention race in a song I'm scared I'll get killed for it It's backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom And now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump We're ashamed to be American You should probably love it Cause you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public As children we were taught how to walk and talk But the system wants adults to sit down and sh** Jeez, I mean, there's already a lot going on in this, man. I don't know. I might have to just zoom right through this because there's going to be a lot of lyrics to review in this, as always there is. But right now he's already calling out a lot of people that he feels are just being contradictory in the way that they push themselves forward, even Eminem. Public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now, the planet went crazy. Labeled everything we say as homophobic or racist. If you're white, then you're privileged, guilty by association. All our childhood heroes got me too, or the rapists. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the change. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play. For people to big teams, they used the media to feed the flame. They so fake woke Facts don't care about feelings They know they won't Tell me what to believe in They so fake woke Same old, say so Stay so fake woke I think it's crazy all these people screaming facts but they fake woke Hate their neighbor cause he wears a mask or he stays home Has a daughter but his favorite artist said he slays hoes Picks her up from school, music slaps on the way home Censorship's an issue cause they choose what they erase There's the difference between hate speech and speech that you hate I think Black Lives Matter was the stupid Jeez, there's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate Man, he's just coming at it hard as usual Race. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate I think Black Lives Matter was the stupidest name When the system's screwing everyone exactly the same I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family Without being accused of celebrating native casualties We got so divided it's black and white and political Republicans are bigots, libtards if you're liberal There's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse Y'all screaming deep on the police, y'all a genius for sure They're underfunded already, they're way too busy to work Order food and call the cops, see what reaches you first Segregation ended, that's a lie in itself That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves They so fake woke Facts don't care about feelings They know they won't Tell me what to believe in They so fake woke Say woke, say so Say so fake woke we use violence to get peace and wonder why it isn't working That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase But you and I cannot afford it, our democracy is worthless If a man has mental illness, call him crazy, say it silently When countries going crazy, we accept it as society Get sick and take a pill when the side effects get you high You get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots They claim it's for our safety, I'll tell you what it really is Removing information that empowers all the citizens the truth doesn't 
and damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding, but everything else that I said is right. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings, they know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so fake woke, same old, say so, say so, fake woke. Facts don't care about your feelings. I think I'm literally going to watch that over again here. I'm not going to make you guys watch me as I watch it over again, so... Alright, so Tom McDonald, I had to watch that one more time, because... And actually, I watched it twice more. I literally had to start writing some notes down. I mean, this is... This is intense. I mean, he is really calling out a lot of different things, and... There are some major juxtapositions in here. Yeah, there are a lot of juxtapositions in here and a lot of comparing and contrasting within the lyrics. And I have the lyrics pulled up. But I mean, this is almost like a master class in writing comparisons and juxtapositions because he just does so many of these. I mean, line after line after line, that's, that's what it is. It's like saying, it's calling out people's sort of hypocrisies, you know, in, you know, things like Cardi B being a role model for 12 year old girls, but they're calling him, you know, crazy. He's a la or labeled as controversial because he talks about race and talks about other things. As I go through line by line as well, I know a lot of people, I think I just saw people mentioning that uh, they thought it, there was like an Eminem diss. And I don't really know if this is an Eminem diss, but he does say Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom in his songs. Um, and now he just doesn't want Trump fans, you know, listening to his music. And he really, really spoke out, uh, you know, against Trump. I think what I'm getting out of a lot of these lines, and there were so many that stuck with me, so many that were just, you know, really brilliantly put together. But I think the biggest thing I think he's getting at here is that this is, you know, we're living in an age right now that is so black and white. And I think that's, you know, he's expressing sort of anger and angst with that, that, you know, he said it in um, No Lives Matter that if you're not or you're a white supremacist, if you're not, you're Antifa, you know, and I think what he's getting at with all this stuff is that we have just let the media divide people into groups and then pit them against each other. And he says in this that, um, let me pull it up here, you know, that we are, yeah, so he, in this one, he says that uh, there's a line where he says, where the system's screwing everyone exactly the same. And I think that's his position in this, is that the it's not... It's not any specific group that's being, in his opinion, being screwed worse than others, you know? And I think that, you know, there's debate on that. There's definitely debate on that. But in the long run, I think what he's getting at is that we've just become so polarized and a lot of people are breaking things down to black and white, you know, where you don't go through and think more about uh, your arguments and your positions on things. And that's where I think it really, you know, what I really see in this, because your position on something like most things in life, you know, when things happen in life, very few things are univaried, you know, where an event happens to you or something happens to you that was the cause of one specific and only thing. Um, I mean, I don't even think life, yeah, life literally cannot exist that way. He, everything in life is univaried. There's many variables that go into what happens to you. Um, you know, if you, you know, got into a car accident, but you drove drunk or you left a party or you drove with someone else. There's a lot of choices that go into that, that lead you to that point. Um, it's not just one thing that got you there and life is more complicated than single variants. And I think that's, you know, again, as I look, I keep looking back at the lyrics here because there's just so many that are so good. And I think one of them that he said that was so good was that, um, where is it here? Let me find the hate speech one. Yeah, he said there's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. 
And that's, I mean, that's so intense because it's so true, you know, in, in this country and in many countries around the world, you have a freedom of speech and you have to really define for yourself what you believe hate speech means because a lot of people, that line gets really blurred and we need to make sure we have that well defined. Um, yeah, because anything, any type of speech where you're specifically calling for violence or calling for horrible things to happen, that's hate speech, you know? So I think, again, the biggest thing I'm getting out of this is he is he's really getting tired man i think of this black and white you know not even necessarily racial although he brings up race a lot i mean more like black and white just the way you view the world because that's where so many people are headed these days where it's you know um uh, liberals versus conservatives black people versus white people you know we're they're, they're creating such a juxtaposition such a divide uh sorry rather a divide um it's just it, it it's that's where the issues are coming from this divide that's happening and in his other songs like again in no lives matter he calls for people to come together that's actually what he says in that song is that we would all do better if we just came together man so i literally i had to watch this over again because this was I, i'm i've got like notes like i've got a page of scribbled down notes because i just was trying to pick up on all sorts of stuff also his rapping was great the flow was great as usual uh, i liked the little guitar riff in the background the background instrumentals are usually really simple you know and he did bring up the the facts don't care about your feelings thing which i think is interesting because that is actually something i hear more amongst like my conservative friends and it's hard not to get political on this i'm trying not to get too political on this channel because you know i just i i think of this channel as more of an escape from politics since it's become such a prevalent thing in everybody's lives lately um but if you're watching this song i mean this song is very political and very uh politicizing or um sorry polarizing but, but while well, it's polarizing in a way again that is falling into that black and white. But at least personally, I really sincerely like every time I take any type of like, what side of the aisle do you belong on? Are you a conservative? Are you a liberal? I, I kid you not, I, I, you know, I'm not saying this to just be neutral. Like I always fall in the middle. I have views on both sides of the aisle. And I think most people actually do. Like if they actually sat down and really broke down how they feel on a bunch of subjects, you'd find yourself agreeing with both sides a lot like that. I, I just think that's true. A lot of us just become so passionate about maybe one issue or two issues that you have to associate with one side or another. And I've brought this up before with friends. I think that's actually one of the other things that's so detrimental. And if you don't live in the United States, this will be, you know, just how a lot of people in the United States, I think, feel is that we're tired of only having two options. There's a lot of other countries in the world where they have four or five major political parties, but we don't in the United States, we have two and it just creates polarization. Like for people around the world, imagine if you had, and I, when I say football in this instance, I mean European football. So like what everyone in the world calls is football. Um, if you had two football teams, not Spain, not England, not all these different teams, Brazil, you just had two for the entire world. That would be utter chaos because people would, if you weren't red, you would be blue. And if you're blue, you're bad. And if you're red, you're bad. You know, it would just be absolute and utter chaos. So another, you know, I like this tune. I'm going to say it. I like this tune. I think he's again calling to that piece of life of things not being so polarizing and honestly he's trying to say things aren't as black as white as we think things are a little more complicated than just a to b well thanks everyone for this recommendation please let me know your thoughts below again we could there are so many good lines in this i read a few of my favorite ones that were just awesome um and yeah just let me know what you think of the lyrics in the comments below if there's any more tom mcdonald you want me to react to check out actually start by checking out the playlist then add to the comments below what you want to see next and I will catch you in my next reaction video.